Alright, so we're going to be doing an assignment called Human Alterations, and you go ahead and you download this zip file. And then once it's downloaded, you'll need to go to your downloads. So if you go into the computer, downloads, there's one called Human Alterations. You should be able to right-click on it and extract files. Okay, Extract files, and then go put these extracted files in your H drive or your M drive. Okay, so click on them, say OK. I've already done it, so I'm not going to, but... Okay, so you go to Human Alterations. And the first one we're going to do is called Altered Eyes. So Eye Changing, I could just right-click, Open With, and choose Photoshop, which is not coming up in mine. So another thing that I could do is just pull up my Photoshop and if I don't have anything else open I can just click and drag and there's the eye changing file okay first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate this layer so I'm gonna right click duplicate layer it's gonna ask me what I want to name it I'll just call it eye and say OK and okay, next we're going to select the burn tool which is this one burn tool and we're going to set the range to mid-tones, so that's what it's at already, and the exposure to 35%. And we're going to burn all around the edges of the iris, the colored part, until it's almost black. So if, you, if it helps, you can zoom in on this and then make your brush kind of smaller. And I'm just going to burn along the edges so if you see it's just getting darker and I almost feel like I went a little too far in that last one because I don't want to get all of the colored I just want to get the edges I'm intensifying the edges of the eye okay you could do it a little more if you want to. And now we're going to increase the size of the brush and then just till it's about that size and just go ahead and burn the pupil. Maybe a little bit outside of it. Okay, so we just want to make sure that that's the blackest part. Now we're going to turn the exposure on our brush to 100% and then burn around the whole eye on the lash line. So if I go to exposure, 100%, make it a little smaller, and then I'm just going to burn all the way around the eye. Okay, so if I click and drag, just let go, click and drag. and do that around the whole eye. <laughs> it's kind of like we're giving this eye eyeliner. Okay. Now we're going to use what's called the dodge tool. Okay, so that's also nested with the burn tool. It's called the dodge tool and it lightens things. We're going to make sure that it is set to mid-tones. And we're going to set the exposure back to 35%, what we had in the other one. And we're going to dodge the inside colored area between where we darkened it. So we're making it look as though it's glowing. So I'll just shrink my brush just a little bit. And I'm using dodge on the colored part of the eye. And that's intensifying it, kind of making it look like it has a glow. If you go too far, you lose all the details, so you don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to stop it right about there. If you go too far, you start to just get white, 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 and it loses all of the little details of an eye. So you don't want to go too far. Okay, now we're going to create a new layer. And let's call this one um, Glow. Or maybe a uh, Color because it's what we're going to use to color it. And we're going to set the blending mode, which are these. This is blending modes, and we're going to set that to color. 
And now you're going to go ahead and choose a nice bright color. So what kind of glow do you want these eyes to have? Do you want them to glow green or red or have a pink glow, purple glow? Whatever color you want them to glow. So just choose that and make sure you've got your paintbrush. Make sure it's got normal, opacity is 100%, which is what we want. And then set your brush size so that it fits between. And then I'm just going to paint. So now I've got this glowing purple eye. Okay, now I'm going to use the dodge tool and just go around the edges of the, of the pupil with a small brush. Okay, so going back to the dodge tool, and I'm just going to go around. Oh, and got to make sure you're on your eye layer. And I'm just going to go around it a few more times. The edge of the pupil. To give it kind of an extra glow. Okay. Now, go ahead and we're going to click on the background layer so we make sure we're there. And we're going to go up to the filter, go down to render, and we're going to choose lighting effects. Okay, now you've got this. And depending on what you pull, so make it so it's very centered on the eye, rotate. So each of these little circles changes something. So what I want you to do is just make it so that it's kind of almost you're getting this looking through a keyhole effect. All I need is to make sure that I can see that you've darkened this and that of course you've got this glow on the eye. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and you can say OK. So mess around with the settings a little bit, find it the way you like it, and then click OK. And then that's the end result. Now, last thing is we're going to go to the eye color layer. And we're going to do a new adjustment layer. So if I go and I find the one that's brightness and contrast, so this little sun, you can see that I can change just different. So contrast is going to make the darks more intensely dark. Brightness is going to make light things more light. So just set it. Make sure though still I need to see that you've darkened the inside so you can't make it so dark that I can't see what's happening. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and you're done. But what we're going to be doing for this assignment, because there's so many parts to this particular assignment, we're going to be putting it all into a Word document. So what I want you to do is open up a Word document. So I'll file a new blank document. So here it is. And I'll go ahead and call this Human Alterations. Whoops. And there we go. Okay. Now you could file and save these. I r highly recommend that you do because if something happens to your Word document, you need to have this because you have to have everything turned in. So you're going to want to file and save this document. I changing, that's just, I changing final and save it. Then from there, if you go down to the Windows icon and pull this up, there's one called the snipping tool. And when the snipping tool comes up, it turns your whole screen white and it brings up this. And I'm just going to click and drag from the corner to the corner this eye. Okay, and then the snipping tool brings it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go edit and copy, bring up my blank Word document, and then control V to paste or, you know, file a paste. So now I have the eye. Okay, and that is all for this particular part. We'll move on to the next one in the next video.